Maidan, in the heart of Kiev, is again filled with people. Here, a year ago, protests began which forced out a president who'd rejected Europe in favour of closer ties with Russia. The commemoration here also honoured those who died in that struggle in the hope their deaths and the resulting conflict in the East was worth it. US Vice President Joe Biden travelled to Kiev to mark the anniversary to show support for Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and to deliver a sharp message to Russia. He said last month's Minsk ceasefire agreement must be upheld. Remove now illegal military formations, military equipment and militants and facilitate the release of all hostages. That's what was agreed to by Mr. Putin. None of that has occurred. Earlier, thousands marched through central Kiev, veterans of the battle for Maidan Square, some even wearing military fatigues. Today is the day of Ukrainians' victory. This is a victory of nation, freedom and of solidarity. This day means a lot. First of all, in this day, we will commemorate those guys who died and the victory of the Ukrainian people. For residents of the capital, the Maidan anniversary evokes pride in the events of a year ago, but this is mixed with alarm for what the future may hold.